And also I acknowledge and also thank your immense contribution for the upliftment of the Sri Lankan Ceylon tea trade over a period of time, which goes back to many decades, even before you, st you started your association. So when I was uh, invited, when Mr. Herat came to see me, I told him this is the third time that, that I'm going to attend your AGM. This time you must say something good about the minister as well. So he mentioned uh, lightly, he can't come out loud because of the uh, given scenario. And I was also listening to the, the question paper he presented, which is more difficult than the final MBBS question paper we sat at the university. <laughs> so I might get a pass mark. I wouldn't get a distinction given the backdrop of the financial difficulties and also the erroneous policy decisions he made. But I was listening at the same venue last year. Uh, at that time, the chairman, I think Chandima also mentioned, the fertilizer ban was lifted then by the last AGM. So at that time was also tea bushes were recovering. Now, even now, it's recovering after one and a half years' time. So the convalescence period is a pretty long one, much longer than recovering from a heart attack or a uh, cerebrovascular accident, I would say. And also he mentioned about the elevation average. It's a subjudicate. It's a matter, matter, matter that's being discussed at the, the courts. But we intervened on behalf of the, the, on behalf of the factory owners. They made representations several times. So I must say, I would ask the minister, I wouldn't do anything illegal. I wouldn't do anything bad for the industry. So we have to let us strike the fine balance in relation to the, in relation to the, the elevation average that you're talking about. And also, uh, we must mention, the fact that the industry is coming back to normalcy gradually. Uh, it faced a grave crisis last year. Our production came down to 250 million kilos. But as per the predictions of the tea board, this time it might go up to about 270 million kilos. And also, uh, as the rupee gradually getting strengthened over a period of time, we think that one thing is that uh, the prices might go down a little, which would badly affect tea factory owners as well as the 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 team small holders out there but as the ministry as the minister during last three years time i must mention the fact that certain concerns that was raised by mr herath in relation to giving license to factories yes as the minister i have issued two license during last three years time that was after much representations made by the people's representative of those areas that's namely passara and also one in Matugama in Kalutara district. Yes, I have done that, two factories. That was because of the fact that they, there was a constant complaint from the tea smallholders, which was brought to me via the parliamentarians. So I, yes, acknowledged that request and permitted that one. But in relation to adulteration matter, I never moved my pen to remedy or to provide any relief to anybody. So we have detected 73 factories from 2020 to 2023. That was... Uh, the, as per the stipulated time frame, those factories are kept closed. I'm very pleased to say in 2023, only two factories were detected having adulterated uh, tea. I think the trend is uh, very positive. It's coming down gradually. So it's a good trend. So that is something that I must mention here. And also, I must come, I must state the fact that with the help of the tea board, we have initiated few schemes, including the loan schemes, interest-free loan schemes for the people to purchase fertilizer. It's uh, gradually the trend is improving now. And also we must thank T-Board. They, they started contributing for the direct planting mechanism. So that was as the Minister of Plantation, we moved the cabinet paper last year. All this time it was the promotional fund which utilize, utilized for the export purposes. And we're getting 50% of that for the, the plantation activities as well. Having seen the declining trend from 2013 only, we made that move. Now we are getting certain funds from the tea board. Last year we got 450 million rupees for the thousand nursery program. And this year we will get another 750 million rupees for the direct planting mechanism. That is, I know that you are facing a lot of issues including cost of financing which is gradually coming down. My friend would elaborate on that and so cost of production has gone up. Particularly because of the fact that high fuel costs and the electricity costs. Our minister of, our minister of power and energy it's working tirelessly to ensure that we bring down the cost of generation of electricity of the country, perhaps by 2024, that we would see a better day in relation to fuel prices, and also strengthening of the rupee, and also in relation to gas and other commodity prices. So that's some positive note. But in relation to your main concern, there's a reduction in the green leaves. 
So we have to act collectively, work together to ensure that we stimulate the smallholders at the ground level, for which we get the assistance from the TSHDA. They're also working on in that regard, and also the T-Board, and also other parties concerned, the Secretary of Ministry, and also our staff is very concerned about that. So what is the way forward? Having looked at that scenario, having understood that scenario only, we proposed, we suggested, there was some resistance from TRI also, Chairman uh, TRI and DG is also here. So I said we have to move away from the traditional mechanism of replantation and new plantation, which we are doing now, for which we are getting funds from the tea board. Why people are moving away from the traditional mechanism of replantation? Because it's time consuming. Generally, they go through a period of uh, about two to three years with a proper income. Yes, government provided subsidy, which was hard to come by in 2023, but I must categorically mention the fact that government will continue with the tea uh, subsidies, replantation and new plantation, whilst we engage with the direct planting mechanisms as well. We've seen results from the direct tea planting mechanisms. We started 55 model villages, model gardens. I'm quite proud to say you now it has come to the level of harvesting. Most of these out of uh, 55, we harvest from 40 uh, gardens, if I'm not mistaken. The average yield is more than 90, uh, sorry, 900 kilograms of green leaves per month, uh, per acre, something substantial. And the similar, uh, the similar mechanisms are deployed by certain private uh, owners as well. Last week we were, I was quite pleased to see, one, in, one estate in Matugama, where double edge growing was instituted with fertigation and irrigation. They're getting 1,500 green leaves, uh, the 1,500 kg of, of green leaf uh, per, per kg per month, which, which is substantial. So we have seen the results now. So may I request on behalf of the ministry, and also as the people who are much engaged in the industry, who are the other stakeholders to or get into some of the uh, lateral thinking and start get going ahead with some of the mechanisms that we deploy, including the direct planting mechanism, for which we are getting assistance from the tea board. So I think that, is, that was the main concern of uh, all of us, because it was going down gradually, and also other concerns as well. There's, there's some, something like you know, gradual reduction of the export markets. Now the, the tea export market came down to 7, bi 7 billion US dollars last year, as against 7.7 .7 billion in 2021. There's a 5% reduction of the global market, which affects our business as well. Fortunately, we have go, you know, got, the, got the doors open to export our teas to Iran through that BATA mechanism, even though we had in, you know, entered into agreement in 2021. The Ceylon Petroleum Corporation didn't have sufficient funds to provide the, the provide tea board, but now they are financially stable thanks to the price hikes again. But now they are you know, providing us money. With that, we should be able to provide that channel of exportation of uh, Ceylon tea to Iran through barter mechanism, which is already started. So those are the positive notes. But I would say on, on the long run, I know your concerns about cost of production and also about the, the cost of financing and also about other difficulties that you go through for the first time, perhaps because of the new income tax mechanisms and all that. But as a country, we went through a bit of a bad patch. We all understand that due to different, many different, multitude of factors. But let us come out from that, uh, we come, come out from this debacle together. You have the strength, the Sri Lankan people have the strength. During last same time, if I, if I may recall correctly, during last 75 years, a lot of people, it was, a lot of people mentioned that it was a curse since we gained independence. But we can very clearly show the statistics socially, educational, health-wise, Infrastructure, economical statistics show that we have come, a, we have jumped, a leapfrog uh, during last 75 years, having gained independence. Now, for, from today onwards, the, on futuristic basis, our journey, your journey, the journey of the country would become a stronger one. We wouldn't go back again. So, for that, I may request the support of all the stakeholders in the tea industry, for which Minister of Plantation Industries would provide nothing but, but the best to ensure that all the stakeholders, the farmers, the tea factory owners, the brokers, exporters, uh, will gain better in time to come. So thank you very much and have a pleasant evening.